Hey everybody, we're back. And we're just about to finish up on this guy here. Uh, I went ahead and had, did the fingers on this one here. And uh, I did a sole on the shoe here. And uh, I put some folds in right here. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on this hand. And I'm going to take a, a, a deep V right here. And I start right here in the center. On this center line. And I come in and I make my cut. Like that. And I always start in the center. So you can kind of uh, see what where you need to start on the next two fingers. And this one wasn't too much, too bad. Let me, let me get right here where I can see, where I can see here. All right, that looks pretty good. Now let's come in right here. I'm going to come over this way just a little bit because that um, that finger looked a little thick. Let me get where the light can. All right, I got that in, so I'm going to put that tool down, and I'm going to grab my knife. And uh, I'm going to come in here and make me some deep cuts here, right in here. And turn it this way. Make me some deep cuts with my knife blade. And I'm going to kind of cut back against these. Just kind of give them a little bit of shape. Like that. Way. I'm just kind of rounding these fingers a little bit. This one right here, this one here, here I'm going to kind of make me a slicing cut like that. Right here at the bottom I'm going to do the same. These fingers are, are tucked under, but they're still important to have some depth in them. Because you're looking at them, you're looking at them like that. Let me get this light right around here where I can see what I'm doing a little better. And I'm going to take this little upsweep and kind of shape these outsides of these fingers. This will give them a little shape. And you want to be sure you remove your pencil marks. Alright, that is just a blemish in the wood. Now I'm going to come in right here and make me a little stop cut across there and just kind of put me an end where these fingers will be. Like that right there. And just put your little notch in there. Like that. That's 
that's this part of your finger right in here I'm trying to to uh, simulate I'll come in here and get one in there yeah that's the way I want it to look all right that's that hand right there now uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this so uh, well first of all I got to take this little uh, make uh, where this uh, heel is going to be so let's take a uh, I'm going to take a stiff bladed knife right here and come in and make me some stop cuts in there to uh, form that heel Yeah, let me, I need a little bit thinner blade here. Let's get in here with this one. Yeah, that's not going to work. Right there, right there. Now, I've got to, to do the interior right in here, so I'm going to come in. Now, let's kind of hard to see on the camera here on this inner part here and this is the tough part to get to it's a little bit more difficult to get but you just want to make some kind of separation in there just to sort of give it some shadow there that's about all you need on that now uh, I'm going to come back over here and uh, let's see, I'm going to get this knife right here and it's got a little thinner blade on it so I'm going to, there we go, like that. Now I'm going to put in this uh, sole of the shoe so I take a number 11 and I start um, well, right in here we'll we'll start and we'll cut along this line right here. And let's work our way over this way. You just kind of stay on your line. And this forms a, the sole of this shoe. And once again, we're in this area where it's kind of hard to see. You may have to go in as far as you can that way. Like that. And then turn it around. And meet your line coming going the other way. Like that right there. Now let's finish out the heel. And it's just done with a number 11, three millimeter. Now, we got that in right there, the, the sole of the shoe. I'm gonna put this down, and now I'm gonna make a, a V cut along there and uh, just to deepen my line up a little bit and just follow your line I'm headed out in the morning to uh, the knot hole in Pleasant Hill, Missouri, and I've got a three-day class there. It's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and looking forward to that. Okay, I've got that in. Now, uh, as I'm looking here, uh, I'm going to put a button in here. And I've got a little button punch. I, 
I kind of put me a little dot right here for where my button will be. And this is a Rommelson button punch, or eye punch is what they used to call them. And I come in like this and make press it down real good and hard. Like that there. Then I'm going to take and cut back against that. Take me out a little sliver of wood to make that button kind of stand out a little bit more. Now it did leave a little bitty chip right in here. I'm going to take that out with my knife tip like that right there. And then where that little dot is, I'm going to take and just make me a little divot cut right there to uh, make the uh, just this button look kind of concave in there. Now, I got that in. I'm going to texture this shirt. Uh, I'm going to use a, uh, a number 11, 3 millimeter. And I come in and just start texturing this like this. You really want to run these cuts together. Now, I'll turn it around to go the other way just to get just so I can get it over to the, the coat and then over here to the strap. And you really, this is, uh, I like this texture here. It's like he's got on wool underwear, long handle underwear. That's why I carve it on my hillbillies, most of my hillbillies. But anyway, right there is the, the texture. It gives it a good textured look. Now I'm going to do this over here and texture it a little bit. There's not much on this side here. Then turn it around and go this way. Like that right there. That looks pretty good. Now, I do want some folds right in there, so I'm going to put that tool down. And I'm going to take my quarter inch number nine and, and kind of put me a little cut right in here. To, I'm going to kind of make this arm look like it's bent in here a little bit. that right there. Now I'm going to deepen that with a number 11 right here, 3 millimeter. And that just, just kind of breaks that up a little bit. Uh, right over here, I, I don't do a whole lot over here. Uh, you might put one kind of right in here. Not a whole lot, because your grain changes just on you funny here. One like that. Just to give it a little bent look. Let's see here. Just about like that. Not much. Now, uh, I've got a, he's got a pocket on, uh, I got to draw in the little pocket here. Uh, right here. It's a little coat pocket. I'm going to bring it on out to about right here. And sweep that down like this, and then up 
like that. Now I'm going to cut that in with a with a quarter inch. Well, let me see. That's not my. Uh, let me take this. This is a quarter inch V. It's not as deep as that other one, but I just come in here and outline my where I made my cuts at. And establish that pocket. Like that. And just kind of bring it on around a little bit. I think the the bigger the pocket you have on a on the jacket is the better. It looks good, I think. All right, now I'm going to put that tool back down and I'm going to come across here and make me a stop cut. And just kind of tuck that in a little. Like that, and we'll take some across here and get it shaved down a little. And right here, you just want to kind of make that pocket look like it's standing out a little bit more. Like that, and we'll do it over here. Okay. Yeah, that's pocket number one. Now we'll do this pocket over here. It'll come up like that and down. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit that one back just a little bit. And reason being, I'm, I'm probably gonna put some buttonholes in there. So let's bring this on up about right here like that, and then we'll come in here and bring that pocket back about right here now we're ready to cut them in so I take that quarter inch V again and go in here make my cuts and just put your outline in here how much time are we looking at, Peyton, right now? we got about five minutes. Five minutes, okay. We're just about to finish up on this guy here. Let me put that tool back. Now I've got to recess my cuts there again. This one right here. We want to really tuck that one in. Because that's the, where you enter the pocket at, and it needs to be a little deeper. And we'll take out a little sliver there. And come in here. up your edges there let's make that pocket look like it's kind of standing out a little bit there we go yeah we'll do it over here
Now well, there's our pockets. Okay, now uh, I do want to put uh, right here. I'm going to put a, a button right here, and probably one right here, and the buttonhole over here, and one about right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and real quick before we finish up, I'm going to punch out this button here. One button. And two buttons. Let's see here. And then I'm going to take my gouge, number nine gouge, and come in and just take out a little cut. My top and usually don't want to get them out very good. There's that. And one right here. Now that work that come out pretty good. And then I'm gonna take and put my little divot in right here and right here. to form my button. Then I'm gonna put my little dot right in here. And then buttonholes, I'm gonna do the buttonholes and we're probably just about finish up on that as far as time goes. Well, what's the time, Peyton? We got about two minutes. Okay, all right, I'm gonna make a cut across here. And one right here. One here, again, one right there. Now I'm going to come in right here at the end of my little stop cut and make me a little wedge cut. And this just kind of simulates a buttonhole. It looks kind of like a bow tie. Rather, that's uh, that's the way I like to do them. It may not be the way it really is, but it simulates a buttonhole, and uh, I, I I think it just shows up real real well on your carving. There's one there, because it gives it a lot of shadow and. That's what we like, shadow. And I'll take this and carve that there, and one right here. And that's our that's our buttonhole. Now, guys, that's probably uh, time-wise, that's about oh, as far as we can go on this guy. I mean, except for kind of cleaning him up a little bit, and and then he'll be about ready to paint. But uh, uh, with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, 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 too much moonshine and uh, uh, I'll see you on the next video. See you later. Bye